The Montreal Canadiens alumni team are coming here to the Ganawagi Sports Complex next February to play in a special fundraising game. The announcement was made by Chief Carl Horn, who made the announcement along with former Habs Gaston Gringis and Pierre Dagenet. The Habs alumni will be playing the Ganawagi All-Stars to raise funds for a new children's park, which will be named for the late Orville Standup. But uh, a year ago, we tried to get him here last winter, myself and the manager of the arena, Kenny Kane. But uh, being the Canadians, they're such a, um, a pre prestigious franchise. We, we, weren't, we weren't able to book a date last year, but um, we kept working on it and we, uh, we got a date for this year. So uh, uh, we're very fortunate uh, and I'm glad, um, especially uh, the sponsors that stepped up and made this event uh, a possibility. The game is scheduled for Friday, February 6th. Former Canadians defenseman Gaston Gringis says being a part of this event is important to him. Gringis says it's not just about putting the Canadians' jersey back on again, it's also about being a role model and giving back to the community. Well, motivation is easy. It's, uh, it's about the kids. Uh, the cause here is tremendous. Uh, there's a gentleman that's being honoured that, for me, I think is, is very important. I come from a small community, Temiskaming, 2,500 people. And for me, it's always been an appartenance. It's about the, the, uh, the community getting together, helping each other, uh, in times like this that you can uh, you can bring uh, the kids to move our kids don't move enough they like I was saying in the press conference they they just don't because they have all those games and uh, they, they win in hockey but on the machines with their, 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 their fingers so for me it's for them to come out uh, see what uh, the passion we have because even as old guys we still have the love of the game and hopefully they'll uh, it'll be uh, a part of it that they'll They'll, they'll see. Well, not all of the details have been ironed out for game day yet. Other activities such as a hockey clinic and VIP reception are also in the works. As for the game itself, right winger Pierre Dagenet admits the Habs alumni have their work cut out for them playing against Ganawagi. We'll be ready for the game. I know the guy's going to be ready around here and uh, some of my friends are going to come see the game. And uh, I know when I watch uh, some uh, lacrosse game, uh, competition is very high and uh, we'll try to get ready. Other former Canadians that are expected to be here are Sergio Mameso, Chris Nyland and John Shabbat. More big names will be added to the roster as other players' availability are confirmed. Arena manager Kenny Kane says there is still a lot of work to be done before the game. So the hardest thing was to sit down and put a team on paper. Uh, afterwards, it's a matter of securing the, um, the date because we still had to move some of our contract people. Uh, in order to free the ice up for the game, which, which we did. Afterwards, it's a matter of printing tickets and posters and getting sponsorships, which Carl did uh, pretty well single-handedly. To raise the amount of money to, for the team to come here is uh, quite expensive, and uh, he went out in the community and was able to secure that total amount. So that's a big help. So in other words, all ticket sales and or fundraisers during that evening will go 100% towards the uh, uh, construction of the playground area. The new playground location is expected to be built near the old K103 building and is estimated to cost between $30,000 and $40,000. Chief Horan says that this game is important on many different levels. I just want to make sure that um, um, the community understands that uh, obviously we've been through a, a tough time the last year, year and a half in regards to membership, especially membership. And uh, usually the game of lacrosse brings our community together. Uh, for this event, uh, hockey's going to bring our community together so we can forget about uh, our issues that divided our community the last year, year and a half, and let's concentrate on um, making money in, um, um, for a great man uh, and name a playground in his memory. Gaston Gringas, who also comes from a small town, couldn't agree more. Come out and, and support the community. For me, uh, like I said, I'm from a small town, and uh, Tembeck right now is a paper mill and they're on strike. So I mean, people that have, they're having a harder time with things, we need people to help each other. And for me, at this time for my town, Temiskaming, it, it's a strike and you want to, to unite and try. And so for this special occasion too, I'd like the people to unite.
Game organizers haven't finalized ticket sales yet, but say that tickets should be on sale within the next week to 10 days. Chief Horan says that prices will be affordable and that an announcement will be made soon on where you can get them. Game organizers say that the arena holds up to 4,000 people and they hope to sell it out, not just for some great old-time hockey, but also for a great cause. Lachlan Medill for Mohawk TV.